everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Carly Tanager, and I'm playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. Now, this entire area is not really fucking important, because this is a new game, partially a new game plus dungeon. But... There's a depression on the pedestal. Yeah, you can't do anything here until you've beaten the game. <laughs> but it's another reason why I remember Ren Le Chateau more than I remember a lot of the other dungeons, because of a lot of it having to do with the new game plus dungeon. Like, all of that- most of that shit- yeah, most of all of this shit we're seeing, it's New Game Plus dungeon shit. You just bypass all of it. Also, there's Gnosis now! At least we have the hu Gnosis humanoid fighting weapon here. I want the other one. I want the other one. Get him! It's the same designs as all the games. Okay. And you're a thingy. I hit you. There wasn't any even anything in the damn pillar. <laughs> I'm kind of offended. I'm gonna go around the other side. I don't wanna fight a second one. One thing that is a little annoying about the Gnosis in this game is Gnosis can like all have the ability to inflict the status effect crystallize. Which, if you don't cure it before it takes effect after like three turns after infection with it, you turn your character turns into a salt pillar, explodes, and they're permanently out of the battle. So Gnosis are a teensy bit annoying in this game. Oh dear, that uh, that looks like a lot of shit. Put it on the pedestal. Yay! We're going full MC frickin' Escher! anti crystal Yeah, it's the anti-crystal that stops them from exploding when they get crystallized. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Cause I want this. There's nothing in it. I am offended. <laughs> doop 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 doop. Step 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 step. Okay. The designs of these dungeons don't make logical sense, but they can sure be fun in terms of layout and crap. <laughs> Sorry. Distracted. Cute bunnies. They're being distracting because they're bunnies. Fuck. Yeah, well... Pfft. It's a button! I'ma press it. Yay! That's why there was fuck all to do on that side. Even though I probably could have gone over there. Yeah. Damn it, I do need to go over there. <laughs> Hey, you know, poke your butt. <laughs> okay. I fixed it. <laughs> so I can go over there. To just get out. I think there's something else I could do. Can't remember what it is, so fuck it, we're leaving. <laughs> I think there is something else over there I could get, but whatever. It's, it really don't, really don't matter. <laughs> Gosh, more puzzles! <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not gonna fuck this up again. Let's go grab everything we can first, then we'll hit the button. Alright. Nobody hit this? Okay. So, what happens if I hit this one? <laughs> I Ooh, so this is the optional way, is it? I well, that leads to fuck all. I guess I'm gonna have to go kill some gnosis now. Ah, tits. 
Okay, now that all that's done, it was just an update file. Maybe I'll do a codex for Xenosaga. I probably wouldn't be as popular as a codex for Skyrim that I have been doing, but... Why not? Why not? I'll read the codex entries from this game on my secondary channel at some point. Okay. So over here... It's this way. Okay. I know we've got one over here, but there's a McDooter. <sighs> there's always a McDooter in my way. <laughs> this is why I can't have nice things, you guys. It's because there's a McDooter in my way all the time. Hi, McDooter. This will be fine. Hmm, where the fuck is that? <laughs> I think that's on the level below me. I don't know if I want to go back and get it or not. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. I am inherently lazy. I probably should. I definitely should. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll hit I'll hit these ones and then I'll make the decision. I'm gonna cut it out if I do it. Like I cut out half of my dungeon crawling when I'm not making some comment about something. Uh oh. Oops! <laughs> I done goofed. <laughs> but <sighs> Do I wanna be lazy? Do I not wanna be lazy? Let's not be lazy. Run! <laughs> Made it. So it turned out it was a good idea that for me to go back and get that box. It was a segment, at, or it was a decoder for a segment file thing. Hi. No. I hit. <laughs> I hit. Now I attack. Um... Firebolt! Even though what I'm actually gonna do is fuck the big one. <laughs> mm, phrasing. It's fine if I call phrasing on myself. <laughs> okay. The bolt! I'm gonna take care of the big one. I don't like the big one. The big one's mean. Rude. Dead. I eat. All systems it is kind of rude. It gives you the ability to juke around things, but um, then it makes it a then it makes it a long thin corridor, so it's really hard. Like it makes it even harder to juke around things. In some cases, you can't really, or some cases, if you're lucky enough, like right there, you can. And I guess it's a bad idea to juke around enemies because you do need experience or whatever but at the same time I want to pause it that I need to record four episodes today so ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> oh oh almost fucked up Okay. Hey, look! Obvious hole. Go into the obvious hole. Uh-oh. 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 I wonder what could be out here! Sunlight! Wait, where's the light coming from? There's no sun! <laughs> I mean, it's coming from the hypersphere that's surrounding the Renlu Chateau, but still. Where's everybody else? <laughs> Where are we? Did we come out on the surface? Obviously. Which makes no sense because the thing's a little bit thicker than that. How the hell can something like this be floating out in space? Don't worry about it. <gasps> this is... What's up, Xion? 
Shion should know this place. She's seen it before. <gasps> I've seen this place before. Mm -hmm. It's the place in my dream. Yep, the dream she kept having in Xenosaga 1. I don't know if she had them in Xenosaga 2, but she definitely had them in the first game when she would see totally not chaos and Nephilim in this place. And there she is! Nephilim? <laughs> Hi, Nephi. Okay. Bye, Nephilim. <gasps> oh, Lady Pains! And passes out. Shion? And passes out. Are you all right? What's wrong? Uh, I'm fine. It's nothing. She keeps saying that. <laughs> As if that's going to make it true. <sighs> yes. Ren le Chateau. Nothing bad is going to happen here. Except me committing some uh, desecration of tombs. Because... Oh! Did not expect there'd actually be something in one of them. <laughs> Is there anything down here? Uh, dead body props? Oh. Nope, just a... Also, I think this is related to the... I think all of... Most of this area is related to the New Game Plus dungeon. So you'll see glimpses of places you won't actually see until New Game Plus. I say New Game Plus, but it's not a true New Game Plus. You beat the game, you save your clear file, and it loads you before the final boss. Um, but opens up some extra dungeons. For after. I think it's this way. Ah, tracks. Blow things up. I like blowing things up. <laughs> Is this the place where I can go? Uh oh. Uh oh! This is the place where I go, uh oh. <laughs> this little grin. Um. Oh, hey, look! It's a bunch of this coffins. Is an impressive Let's sight. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Two of them are broken. What's that a reference to? Like a tomb. Are those coffins? Wait for it. It's empty. Did some grave robbers get to it or something? I doubt there would be grave robbers in a place like this. But that is strange. Junior! Look! What is it, Momo? This coffin has the name Asher on it. Yep, there's one coffin for each one of the vessels of Anima in the e in the ESs. This one says Dina. Mm-hmm. You gotta be kidding me. They're all ES names. Uh-huh. Yep. There's one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So there's twelve in total. It is a reference to the Apostles, because here's number 13. And nothing bad is going to happen in this room. Nope. Mm -mm. Nothing bad this at all. This is the place from Cosmos' subconscious domain. Yep, where you go up, because Cosmos is um, in Cosmos' subconscious domain. If you remember from the first Anasaga game, she was crucified on that exact cross with a bunch of wires around her, and the password to actually open her, like the information in her brain and her subconscious to get access to stuff is ye shall be as gods. <laughs> Google that if you want to know what it's a reference here? to. I don't know, you made Cosmos, you should know this. Oh wait, you didn't make Cosmos, Kevin did. You just helped Cosmos, with the outside. Do you know this location? No, my memory contains no data regarding our current location. Bullshit. She's actually right, it doesn't, but Cosmos doesn't even know everything about Cosmos, so. <laughs> yeah, you've never been here since you were developed. Uh-huh, but it is inside her subconscious domain, and you better think that there's a reason for that. What does this all mean? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Look, there's another coffin behind the first coffin, and it's glowing, and it has a thing. 
I can't remember what that does. <laughs> I I honestly can't remember what that does. It, it is a secret. I don't think you have to actually grab that. But the second they turn around and leave, it's like, oh, there's nothing here. And then... FMV. <laughs> Hi, Telos! <laughs> what are you doing here? This is gonna go well. I really, I really love these FMV um, scenes. The, bo the boss fights, or like, not the boss fights, but the FMV fights between Telos and Kosovo's, they make me very happy. Telos? Yep. Why is she here? Don't worry about it. I am here for the 13th key. The time of awakening has arrived. Aight. Wait a minute. What is she? She's She even looks like Cosmos, except with a different color scheme. So that's the tea weapon? Yep. Someone has a twisted sense of humor, making her look exactly like Cosmos. <laughs> this present. Yep, Junior knows what they did. But wait, she can't be. Yes, she is, but Ju a Chaos is not doll insane. that doesn't even understand its reason for existence. To ensure that I continue to exist as myself, Cosmos, I'm going to destroy you. Yep. Time, time to yeah. <sighs> First of many boss fights against Telos, and by many I think I mean two that I remember. So this is gonna end well. <clears throat> and yes, Chaos will never correctly explain what the hell he talks about ever. Okay, so what am I doing? So when I was younger, these fights. Cosmos, surrender and become part of me. Phrasing. <laughs> um, these would take forever. It would take me forever to be able to get through these. I could keep losing. I didn't know what I was doing wrong. And now that I'm older, these fights seem so easy. <laughs> I, cause I have, I mean, she's a, nearly half health and I haven't been doing this fight for that long. I don't know if it's because I'm old and I'm just better at games than I was back then, because the, mm, I guess meme for lack of a better word, still, it still goes down, okay, um, is that, oh, I don't have the skills I had at gaming than when I was a kid, bullshit, so if you've been consistently gaming your entire life, you only get better, I'm so much better at video games now than I was when I was little, just, just some food for thought as I'm completely Owning Telos. What? Red, leave Cosmos alone. Son of a monkey's uncle. How dare you? Take this. If I remember correctly, she'll specifically target Cosmos because she's kind of a jerk like that. Oh. This is where you die. Is it though? Is it? Is is it though? Is it though, Telos? Cause um, I'm kind of kicking your ass. Ether drive. I'm kind of kicking your ass. It's just a, just a smidge of ass kicking is happening right now. <laughs> sure, you may have downed Cosmos once with a targeted special attack. However. I'm barely breaking a sweat, Telos. You can't do shit. You're gonna get your ass kicked. Don't interfere. Uh, don't interfere. You're trying to kill her. She's obviously going to interfere. Uh, he doesn't have. Yeah, he doesn't have anything he can do. So you know what? Two up, Soul down. Okay, you. This thing. I can't remember what 90% of the things do in this game. Don't, don't break her. I need that. I I need her. <laughs> um, I can't remember what a lot of the uh, status effects in this game do, like fist down. I assume that's like strength down. But... And poison's pretty self-explanatory, but I can't remember like soul down and all that jazz. What? 
I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, oh, that means I can't use ether. Shit. Uh, this is fine, though. I have a lot of items. Oh! Okay, I was gonna say, please don't kill her. I need her alive. <laughs> I need her alive for what I'm about to do. And what I'm about to do is... Murder the crap out of Telos. I mean, not obviously murder her, because it's only a boss fight. Bye! <laughs> First try! Didn't have to reload. That fight gave me a whole bunch of hell when I was down here, because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And now prepare for me to, after this cutscene, be extremely butthurt. <laughs> and you'll see why. Kind of, kind of sad that this isn't in-game rendered, but whatever. Is it over? Don't worry about it. Ha! Some top secret weapon that thing was. Junior. Xion, the enemy unit's output is 4.75 times higher than mine. Therefore, we are at a clear disadvantage. What? Wait, what do you mean? I am going to delay the enemy unit. Please retreat immediately. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> we knocked her over in the boss fight, but she's fine. God, I love this music. This is whole cutscene is badass. Just, what just watch. The? Even after all those attacks, she's still completely unharmed. Just, just, I'm just gonna enjoy this. <laughs> It's stuff like this that's the reason why this is my favorite of the Zeno Saga games. Yeet! <laughs> also, remember how I mentioned that the game takes away Cosmos for a very large percentage of this game? Yeah. And her arm's broken at this point, among other things soon. Yeah. We're losing Cosmos after this, and it's gonna make me extremely salty. Not permanently, but for a while. None of them do anything, they're just standing there. <laughs> you guys suck. It's useless. Hi, Roth. We've already completely analyzed her combat patterns. Why are you here? What do you mean analyzed? Do you mean that task? Yep. It's probably against both of your wills, but it's Cosmos's fate to be destroyed by Telos in this place. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, you dude. Say that to me. Why are you and Telos even here to begin with? The answer is simple. He's the Red Testament. To observe. You. Yep. Testament. You have no time to be surprised. Your princess is losing. And they're just standing there watching. Like, <laughs> Jin's not helping. I'm pretty sure if all of them banded together, they could take her. I mean, I beat the crap out of her in the cutscene. I love me some good combat cutscenes. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I want a saw on my hand. Yay, Cosmos! I will only last 140 seconds with my current capacity. Please hurry. No way! I refuse to leave you behind, Cosmos! Also, they kind of have to run through your battlefield to get out of here, Cosmos. <laughs> they can't go backwards. You're also giving them what they want. Because 
they want to destroy Co Cosmos so they can absorb Cosmos into Talos, which is the point. <gasps> Goes for Sheon! Yep. And Cosmos can't have that, can she? Cosmos! Damn, they're all just standing there watching this. Hey, Junior's running in finally! For <laughs> those little pea shooters. That was my phone, sorry. Hi, Telus! <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> Cosmos. What is the actual reason for your existence? You are nothing more than an empty vessel. How pathetic. Yeah. You'll never be able to accomplish anything. Return to dust so that I may truly awaken. What is that? A phase transfer cannon? Uh-oh. She's gonna fire it at this close range. This is gonna end well. Yeah, Telos has like the the emotion soul part. Cosmos is the body part. It's it's complicated. It'll get explained eventually in the game. Decently well, actually, compared to everything else. Uh oh! The special necklace is glowing. There goes her arm! <laughs> Hi, Cosmos. <laughs> yep. Bye, Cosmos. Cosmos. She did. But why? Uh oh! No! Please stop! Rude! Tell us you're such an I asshole. Am order. Not you, Cosmos! Rude! Stop it! And this is everything that they wanted to happen. <laughs> Like three fourths of this game. Cosmos is Whoa, what the hell is that like? Actually almost ninety percent of this game is them playing directly into the hands of Uh oh. Of the antagonist. They literally Cosmos, do no! every single thing the antagonist wants them to do until the last now, like reveal yourself to us. Until Show us your spark of life. Until like the last three or four cutscenes. But you never re you never realize that until hindsight. The gravity variation is too great. We'll be pulled in. We have to leave this area immediately. Little master, please respond. Little master. As the Dameron. Hi, Wilhelm. You son of a bitch. <laughs> It has begun. Once again, in the same place. It has begun. See? Every single thing that, um, Wil Wilhelm is obviously the antagonist. Save the game? Shut up, Sheon. Wil Wilhelm is obviously the antagonist. Every single thing he's wanted to happen has happened. And will happen until literally three or four cutscenes until the end of the game. Sort of. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. My name is Miss Carly Teenager, and I have been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next one.